YouTube, what's good? Welcome back to the channel, Game to Live by your boy Mott. Back with another video. Today I wanted to do a reaction and, and some commentary on this video I came across, man. It's about a guy speaking about looks, right? He's a guy who's become overweight over time. I think he said he's like 40 years old. And just talking about the difference between how he's been treated now that he's overweight compared to how he was before and how much looks actually matter in society in today's world how you get treated so differently just based on how you look this is something that i've been preaching you know on my channel since i started telling you young cats to make sure you're well groomed you're taking care of yourself you're hitting the gym all of that stuff something i've been preaching but to hear from a guy who's older than me who's kind of seen both sides you know he showed a picture of back when he was younger and more in shape and all of these things and now he's you know overweight and all these things uh, speaking his truth uh, about how his life has changed so much and about how important looks are your physical appearance how much that's important to the world around you i just wanted to react to this because i think this is something that you young fellas need to hear who may think that you know the world owes you something you feel me instead of putting in a work to, to to get what you can out of this world so let's do a reaction to this and then i'm gonna or let's watch this video and then i'm gonna do a reaction after we get done let's get into it I'm a fat old black ass nigga. Looks matter. They matter. I just turned 40 this past March and one of my biggest regrets is not realizing just how important looks are and how much your appearance matters in this world. Human beings are naturally superficial. It's a part of our biology. It's ingrained in us. We can't help it. We are biased toward treating people who look good better. It's just... The facts of life, the faster you realize this and the faster you accept this, the better off you will be in the long run. There are a lot of aspects about yourself that you can't change, but the ones that you can change them as quickly as possible while you are still young and you have the energy, the flexibility, the agility, the time and the resources to really work on yourself and your appearance. This is, uh, I want to I wanna chime in real quick. This is something that's super important because he used some key words while you're still young. My whole channel is dedicated, dedicated to speaking to young men, speaking to the youth, right? Telling y'all stuff that I done been through, stuff that I done experienced, and hopefully can help you prevent going down the same road, right? I done already bumped my head in certain areas. I know cats around me. I know older cats that I talk to, mentors, all of that, that done bumped their heads. And I listen to them so I don't have to make those same mistakes. And I'm just doing my, my, my work to pass it down to the youth because I feel like that's what we should do, right? Every generation should get better if y'all listening to your elders. You feel me? So one of the things he stated was doing this while you're still young and while you have the energy. One thing you may not understand if you are a young man right now currently is that the energy you have and the drive that you have and the motivation that you have, it ain't going to always be there, right? You're going to grow. Your views is going to change. Your perspective is going to change. Your energy levels may drop. You may not feel like doing certain things because you're older. So it's best to get a jump. It's best to get a head start on what's to come, right? Father time is undefeated, as we, as we all know. So it's best to get a jump and a head start on what's to come. So if you're young right now and you got the energy, you may not have no wife and kids right now. Work on yourself while you got the energy, while you can. Go as hard in the gym as you possibly can while you're young. That's the beauty of being youthful. You got the energy, you got the muscles, all of that stuff. Or you can have them if you, if you, you know what I'm saying, put the work in and, 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 do your, and, do your, and hit the gym and do your work. We're talking physical appearance only in this video, right? Taking care of yourself, making sure you stay well-groomed, all of that, but... Putting in a work while you're young, you get a head start on it because it gets more difficult the older you get and the more life set in. Then you're really not going to feel like doing it, right? So I just wanted to chime in. The key words he said, do it while you're young and while you had the energy to do these things. Let's get back into it. I'm working on my stuff right now as we speak. I've had a number of health setbacks over the years. But I can tell you that... <sighs> Getting on social media and seeing all the reactions that I have gotten to my appearance, not that it has had a psychological impact on me in a way, because I, already, I mean, I'm, I'm fundamentally aware of the fact that, you know, I'm overweight, but, but 
I think for me, it was kind of bittersweet just seeing the reaction because it's like I, you just realize that as human beings, we just can't help but to be judgmental and to be superficial. And there's no use in trying to fight that. And if you really want to mitigate the stress of constantly worrying about your appearance, work on it. Because it is a fixable issue for most people, for the vast majority of people, it's fixable. You just got to work on it. You just got to take the time, sit down, do your due diligence, and put in the time and effort to really work on your appearance and how you want others to perceive you. So what this guy is speaking right now, shout out to him, man. I'm going to put the, the, the link to his uh, channel in, in, in the description, but shout out to him for just being straight up honest, man, because nowadays in 2024, we try to act like everybody deserves a participation trophy. You know, everybody is a winner. Everybody is beautiful. Every I get it. It sounds good, right? But let's just be honest, man. We got to take, and I'm talking to the fellas only here. We got to take a second to be honest, bro. I see a lot of cats that complain and talk about the way that women are, right, and their interactions with women and, and how they struggling or how they just about to go overseas and think they're going to get what they want over there. I, I see it all the time, right, and you don't want to take any accountability and look at yourself and look at your own reflection, right, looking at the way your body is right now. You out of shape yourself and you talking about chicks ain't treating you a certain type of way. But you eating crazy, you eating sloppy, and all this, and all this, right? You dressing, you you putting on clothes, and you walking out walking out the house looking any kind of way. I'm not saying you got to wear designer clothes and, and be dripped down in Gucci and Balenciaga. I'm not saying that. But you walking out the house looking any kind of way, stains on your shirt, right? Looking like you wearing pajamas out the house, and then you complain about the results that you're getting, right? Like he said, a lot of these issues. When it comes to our physical appearance, they're fixable. A lot of these issues are fixable. If you got bad skin, work getting some, some skincare products and then developing a skincare routine to clear your skin up. Going to see a dermatologist. Keeping yourself well groomed. If you got hair, keeping a fresh haircut. If you balding, shaving it off and keeping a good, clean, crispy, bald head. Keeping your beard well groomed well trimmed and lined up these are fixable things hitting the gym getting in shape getting your body right these is fixable things your smile getting invisalign getting braces whatever fixable things eating good and drinking water clearing your skin up that way these are fixable things changing your diet it'll reflect in your appearance all these are fixable things, bro. So if you're not doing all of these things, making sure your clothes is clean, making sure you you looking presentable when you walk out the house. Shirt ironed. Pants not hanging. You know what I'm saying? All this stuff is fixable. And doable. Most of the things that y'all complaining about are things that you yourself can go fix if you put in the work. If you don't want to put in the work, don't complain about the results you're getting, bro. Because it's, it's, it's a lot of cats out here like myself that works really hard, not even just on the physical, on the internal and, 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 and just work, period. Going to work, going to get a bag, work really, really hard. And I get inspired by guys around me that work even harder than me. And I know how, how, how hard I work. I put in a lot of work and I'm inspired by ones that go even harder. Like I got I to gotta do more. I got I to gotta get on my grind. I got to do more. Right. So all these things that are fixable, you, I don't want to hear you complain when you're getting the results that you're getting. Let's get back into the video. Physically, that is. Now, your personality, that's whole, it's a whole different story. I'm only talk about, talking about looks in this particular context. So that being said, if you're in your 20s, you're in your 30s, while you still have the energy, while you still have the time because you may not have kids and a wife yet, Please work on yourself. And even after you have kids and a wife, still work on yourself. Work on yourself. Keep up with your appearances because people are going to judge you whether you want them to or not. So it's just, just facts of life. There's no use in complaining about it. There's no use in trying to, you know make videos on TikTok trying to get other people to 
you know, rally against, you know, body shaming or we got to be more blah, blah, blah. No, just stop. There's no point. It is what it is. Looks matter. Yo, shout out to the... Yo, shout out to this guy, man. That video was, it took a lot of, uh, took a lot of guts, you know, to get on the internet and say what he said, but he's absolutely right. There's no point in trying to change the minds of all the people in the world. It'd be a lot easier to just change yourself. You're trying to convince people on why they should still deal with you or why they should still treat you a certain type of way when you don't even treat your own self a certain type of way. Your physical appearance is a direct reflection of how you feel about yourself. Of how you treat yourself about how much you care about yourself your physical appearance is a direct reflection of how much you care about yourself there's no way you really care about yourself and you just put anything inside of your body you eat anything there's no way you could really care for real you don't care about what you eat bro you don't care about what you consume you don't care about how that can affect your body how that can affect your insides how that can affect your your weight your skin your health overall, you don't care about none of that. So when people treat you as such, right, don't be surprised because you're showing by just your outer appearance, you're, you're showing people you don't even care about yourself. So it ain't no point in trying to convince the world that oh, y'all should still treat me a certain kind of way or y'all shouldn't body shame, y'all shouldn't do, y'all shouldn't. I don't want to hear that, man. You have to, you have to put in the work on yourself you have to work on you bro i got videos i can attach to this video somewhere where i speak on different tips that you can implement in your life to enhance your appearance watch those videos and enhance your appearance work on yourself bro look nobody ever said this life was gonna be easy if it was easy everybody everybody would do it you know if, if it was easy everybody would be at the top but it's a reason why it's a separation you got guys that work their way on up and they deserve to be up there because they worked for it. It's no reason you should be sitting next to me and I had to work a million hours to get here and you had to do absolutely nothing. No, we shouldn't be sitting next to each other. We shouldn't be in the same rooms. You didn't work to get here. It's, that's, it should be like that. Should be some type of separation from the guys who put the work in and, they, and their work speaks for itself or their results show. So you have to decide which side you want to be on. But when it comes to your physical appearance, you can't be out here looking any kind of way and expecting to get the same results as a cat who put in as much work as I do. Or some other cats that I know. It's just no way you should, you should be thinking that we deserve the same things. I worked for what I have. And the fixable things like he spoke on, the things that are fixable, when it comes to your appearance, bro, you should be working towards fixing them. It is what it is, bro. It's a shallow world. We're humans. We're going to judge. You look at an attractive woman, you instantly judging her. You instantly want to talk to her. You instantly want to treat her a certain type of way just because she's, she's attractive. And you don't even know anything about her. But the fact that she looks good to you, you automatically treat her a certain type of way from the jump before you get to know her. You're approaching her a certain type of way. You're talking to her a certain type of way. You about to, you you expecting to treat her a certain type of way before she say one word, before you say one word to her, just based off how how attractive she is to you. And then you see a chick that's super unattractive, that you don't like, that you don't, that you wouldn't attract, talk to at all. You don't look her way. You don't treat her with that same level of, of, of respect and care that you would that, that chick who you think is attractive that you're trying to get to know. You're treating them two different ways. It's crazy, ain't it? It is what it is, man. People judge you based off your appearance. People judge you based off your looks, bro. And I'm not a super shallow person. And, and, I, and, I, and I say that looks are the only thing that matter. That's not what I'm saying because who you are as a person is the most important. right? Being a good person overall is the most important thing. But this is one aspect of your life that you should be working on in addition to all the other things. It's just some game I'm trying to give y'all young cats, man. You can, get, you can get into a lot of rooms, you can get into a lot of doors, you can bump elbows with a lot of people just based on your appearance. Taking care of yourself. Being in shape is a conversation starter. You feel me? Dressing nice is a conversation starter. Having some dope shoes on, a dope shirt. 
You know, you never know who you coming across somebody see. Oh, some dope shoes, man. Oh, thank you, man. And, and the conversation ensues from there. You just never know, bro. Based on your appearance, just based on your a representation of yourself. People don't know who you are. So they have no reason to treat you a certain type of way or, or, or none of it. They don't know you. So before you even open your mouth and somebody gets to know that you're a good person, you're a dope individual, they judging you based off how you look. The same way you judge others based, based on how they look. We all do it. Work on y'all appearance, man. Check out the videos, the other videos I got on my channel. Look, if any of this information helps you in any type of way, bro, hit that subscribe button, bro. Hit that share button, man. Hit that like button, man. It helped the channel. I got more game for y'all on the way. I'm going to get back to y'all soon, man. Peace.